Niger Delta brand of amnesty to bandits, headsmen, Sheikh Gumi. Islamic cleric Sheikh Abubakar Ahmed Gumi has called on the federal government of Nigeria to grant, band, to grant bandits and killer headsmen the same kind of amnesty offered to the Niger Delta militant some years ago for peace to reign in the country. In a monitored interview on Arise TV on Wednesday, Gumi spoke on various controversial issues. How can you describe the government effort in trying to confront the numerous security challenges facing the country? Government is not supposed to take side because when that happens, it becomes part of the conflict. And this is what I saw in Zafara, Niger and Niger and other states. This is a tribal war going on with the government taking side. I know that if the government can cross over to the other side, listen to their grievances and understand their agit agitations, it can easily, in a very short time, cure the problem we are having. When you say the bandits are committing crimes, yes, I agree that they are committing, they are committing crimes because they are killings, kidnappings, raping, and committing all sorts of atrocities. But have you for once gone to their side to see the kinds of atrocities committed against them? Do you know that ordinary headsmen are lynched in many towns in Nigeria? We have been we we have seen that in Oyo, Anambra, and many other states. Children decapitated and people don't look at them so i think there should be well-meaning nigerians that should stay neutral in these tribal wars it is rather unfortunate that in the 21st century because of the fractures in our gov in our governmental structure people hide under tribalism or religious to express their grievances I think in 21st century, we should also have a sense of collectiveness and build a nation whereby equity, transparency, and even love for one another abide. But the atrocity committed on one side are appalling. We condemn it and we don't support it. I don't speak for the bandits and I don't speak for those committing atrocities against the bandits. I am trying to be neutral in this case. I look at the object, I look at it objectively and even scientifically. You said it is easy to resolve the matter, but looking at, at Governor Bill, Bill Masari's model in Castina State, where he has granted amnesty on two occasions, but that didn't stop banditry in, in his state one may want to disagree with you so do you think it is as easy as it seems you see when you grant a political amnesty what do you what do you expect i mean you grant amnesty in front of the media and press but in the real sense there was no amnesty amnesty comes with a package and the package is that you rehabilitate these criminals provide for them social amenities like schools and hospitals, engage them and try to entice them to leave the forest by engaging them in different kinds of professions because not all of them can be headsmen again. But there was no project put forward. It is just the ceremony of handing over weapons and that cannot stop banditry. But I can say now that from what we are hearing, there is relative peace in Castina State. The Castina government is truly engaging them. And that is why the state is finding out that dialogue and real amnesty 
not political amnesty, is given results. And we have seen that in Zavara State, I have seen so I have seen I, ha I have been I have been to Shikafi Forest where there is such an arrangement with the Zavara State Governor and it is working very well. People are now moving about and and markets are open, but in the past nobody dared to go to market. But even the peace in Zafara is still is still to is still not what we expect. I can understand that the state government is is financially constrained to grant amnesty, and that is why we are calling on the federal government to come in in here, and it will be easily solved. Well, uh, the detail of this news will give you the full story of what uh, uh, Sheikh Gumi is talking about because there are lots of uh, uh, questions through to him and he was trying to answer them. Now, he is uh, pressing the federal government to give amnesty to kidnappers, bandits, and flanny headsmen just as it is being given to uh, to militant of Niger Delta years ago. But if you look at these two things, they are not the same. They are different. Why does the federal government uh, give, give amnesty to Niger Deltans? Now, if you look at the oil, the oil revenue or the money gotten from the oil, it is from the Niger Delta. And the Niger Delta's environs has not been developed. At that time, there was no good road, no hospital, no school, no social amenities. Government left the place devastated. And as such, the people could not farm on their land because the minerals contains has been drawn away by the action of crude oil. So, and the people rise up, why does the government is shitting us? You are using our money to develop Abuja, develop Lagos, develop other states. And where you are getting the money, no development is coming to that place. The youth are not even engaged in any work. The youth are helpless. The, 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 the environment is destroyed. So what are you doing to us? That is why the, 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 the militant rose up and started speaking to government. And government has to grant them amnesty. So, but the issue of bandits and killer headsmen and, and, and kidnappers are not so. According to what the, the, the Gumi is saying in this news, it, it is a tribal war. The, the, the Fulani headsmen, the bandits, or the, or, or the kidnappers who, who are there, they are there on tribal war in order to take over Nigeria. That is the aim. The full and heads men they are talking about, they are the bandits, they are the kidnappers, they are the abductors. They just give them different names. The same people are committing these atrocities. So, how can you grant somebody amnesty who is who, who is killing people arbitrarily? Who, who has gone into people's land, destroyed the land, killed the people, rendered the people useless? All in the name of fighting to take over their land by force. So this issue is not the same. I know that the, 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 the Gumi is trying, but the issue is not the same. But if the government look at it at the end of the day and try to resolve the problem so that peace will return to Nigeria, I think that will be welcome. But the two, the, 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 the two comparisons are not the same at all.